Chancellor Rishi Sunak is announcing an increase of the national living wage from £8.91 an hour to £9.50 a 6.6% hike, in his budget speech today. The change will come into effect on April 1. This comes in spite of warnings from countless officials of an economic catastrophe in Britain after Brexit. Meanwhile, political figures in France are asking why similar measures can't be undertaken in their country, and are blaming the EU. Charles Henry Galois, the leader of the campaign group Generation Frexit, marveled at the minimum wage rise to £9.50 per hour, or €11.30 per hour. In France, it is €10.50 per hour. Contrary to the promises of the candidates for the 2022 presidential election, the EU and the euro are preventing a sharp rise of the minimum growth wage SMIC, in France, he said. Thank you, Brexit. Our readers share this sentiment. The problem is the EU has no minimum wage legislation, and has refused to meet the UK standard, wrote one. It turns out that the EU's demands for a level playing field doesn't count when it comes to wage costs. Same old EU, still, they can always invent a new bendy banana rule for the people here on Treasure Island. Another reader highlighted that it's not just a minimum wage the UK has but the EU doesn't. They wrote, we also have better food standards, better animal welfare and better workers' rights. But the Remainers always tried to claim we would have worse standards. Yet ours were higher, and still are. The EU only exists to protect German and French industry. Oh and try to get as much land as possible by promising the Baltics milk and honey. One reader joked that Brexit can surely be blamed for higher wages, more jobs and better youth employment. I hope all Brexiteers take responsibility for this and live with the consequences of their actions. Other readers have, however, noted their desire for the increase of the national living wage to be matched by more financial support for pensioners. Pensioners would love to receive that living wage, but no, they have to live on far less, wrote one disaffected reader. Chancellor Rishi Sunak is announcing a host of new measures in his budget speech today, primarily aimed at fixing the damage caused by the government's costly response to COVID, amid reports of high confidence among high net worth individuals in the UK about the state of the country's economy.